Sean, welcome to Barnet Football Club. You must be delighted to get the deal done here. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, thoroughly looking forward to it. Um, over the moon to get it done. It was it was in the pipeline for a couple of months now, sort of towards the end of last season. It first was mentioned to me. Um, I played under Dean previously for a month when I was a bit younger. Um, really enjoyed it. It was um, it was a good month from both our point of views and. We sort of stayed in touch ever since and always touched on the fact that we might link up again and I'm delighted to make it happen here. You've got a lot of experience and knowledge of this level, having played for Ebbsfleet and Weymouth. What do you think you're going to bring to the team? Um, I've been around this level now for, for quite a while. I mean, I don't want to sit here talking too much about myself as a player. I'd rather let my football do the talking, but I work hard for the team. I like to think I can bring a wealth of experience to help the younger players, help mould the squads. Um, what I've noticed so far, even in three, four days of being here and training, it's a very tight-knit squad. There's a lot of good people as well as good players. And I'm hoping that we can come together and have a positive season. Well, why do you feel like Barnet is the right club for you at this point in your career? There's numerous reasons, really. Um, when I first heard about the interest, I really wanted to get it done. Um, I didn't really want to explore any other avenues, even though there, there were a few other clubs um, involved in negotiations. This is somewhere that I've almost signed two or three times now. Um, and for different reasons, it hasn't quite worked out. A big reason is that I get to move back to where I grew up. Um, I get to play under a manager who knows me, who I did pretty well under before. Not to mention the fact that I know quite a few of the squad already. Um, I've played with quite a few of them and against a lot of them over the years. I think it's a very talented squad, a good blend of youth and experience. And I'm really looking forward to the challenge. And now all hard work is geared towards having a positive season. You just mentioned there that you're a local lad and you said off camera that you used to watch Barnet growing up. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a funny one. Um, I grew up in Barnet, so just around the corner from Underhill. Um, and that was the first team I ever went to watch live. Um, I think they were playing back in the old fourth division back then. Um, or that's what it was called anyway, probably the equivalent to the conference now. Um, I went there when I was about five or six to watch a game um, and then years later I was playing against them in the National League so it's a club that's always meant something to me in the sense that growing up it was my local club to sign here is a privilege to me because I'm going to have family and friends coming to watch me that's a big deal it's going to give me that little bit, bit of extra motivation on a match day. And like I've already touched on, I'm just thoroughly looking forward to all aspects of joining here. Most players start the uh, season with, with a set of goals. Can, can you uh, talk us through yours? Of course. I mean, regardless of position, all players have goals. Ultimately, we want to have as positive a season as possible, stay injury free. An attacking player like myself wants to score goals, wants to create goals. Over the last few years, I've been more known for creating goals. So scoring them myself is something I want to add. I feel as though I should be adding more goals to my game. So that's definitely a standard target I have. As a collective, I'm looking forward to, um, to being an important part of this team, integral in helping the younger players. And I feel as a group, if we can implement what we want to do in terms of playing, getting on well, I believe we can have a positive season. I believe some really, really good characters have been added to this group and I'm looking forward to the challenge ahead. The Dean's always said that a strong pre-season always helps for, for the actual uh, season ahead. You've been involved for the first couple of days of, of it now. Um, how, how have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been, it's been tough work as always. That's standard for pre-season. Really enjoyed getting to know the boys. There's some real talent here. Some real good athletes as well, as we've seen in, in the running. Um, it's been nice to incorporate the balls. We've done a lot of ball work. You know, it hasn't been just running. 
We've um, we've also touched on how we're looking to play, which is always good to to include in the first week because sometimes you can go maybe a week or two with just focusing on the physical side of things and you don't actually touch on what you want to do as a team. So I think it's really important and really good what we've done so far. Hopefully grow as a team, become fitter and stronger. And the most important thing is being ready for that first game of the season. I'm sure the Barnet supporters are delighted that you've signed here. What's your message to them? It's like any player, really. Anyone wants to come to a new club and give a good account of themselves. I'll always work hard for this team, give my best every Saturday and Tuesday. And their support throughout the season is going to be huge to us. It's much needed and will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for your time this morning and all the best in Black and Amber. Thank you very much.